Happy Mother's Day, folks. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. I'm doing a special request. It's Parker McCollum's Things I Never Told You, and it's requested by Jacob Herrick. So, Jacob, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for this request. Uh, just a quick note. The link you gave me was Vivo. Uh, so I'm going to go with audio only, you know, just because Vivo is virtually always blocked on the channel. I think I've attempted 50 or 100 different times, and I think maybe one or two were able to be uploaded, and they were eventually caught up with and blocked. So I don't know how other reactors are able to do it. But nonetheless, we're going to do the audio things I never told you. Here we go. It's just like in the living years type thing, except more specific. Cop got me doing 88 on Main. He left me off with a warning. Really? A nice cop. And I was hung over his hill most of them third pew Sunday morning. I had a Playboy stashed in a Johnny Cash LP sleeve in my room. That's just a few things I never told you. I kept a well hid can of skull in the console of my Chevy. Got a real good education, skipping school. The backseat on that levee If you'd caught wind to have my sins You'd have whipped my ass through and through Back then if you knew Things I never told you Alright, well, she knew he was up to stuff She just didn't know what it was And she didn't want to know what a lot of it was I guarantee it, same thing with my mom I know where this... Well, I'm going to see how he resolves this whole thing and where it goes. But I made the mistake of telling my mother when I was like in my 40s, some of the stuff I've been doing. And she was absolutely mortified. I wouldn't be half the man I am If you hadn't loved this boy Yeah I've never said it until now but I always heard your voice Cutting through that loud rock and roll Every fork in the road Underneath the dirt I've never shown you Thank yous at the top of my list of Things I never told you When I moved away from home I didn't realize how much I'd miss you Phone call don't take the place of your smiling face Cooking in that kitchen Yeah, yeah You're the reason all my angels and my demons Finally called a truce Yeah, that's just a few that's Things well I put. never told you I wouldn't be half the man This boy, I've never said it until now, but I always heard your voice cutting through that loud rock and roll. Every fork in the road, underneath the dirt, I've never shown you. Thank yous at the top of my list of things I never told you. Top of my list, things I never told you. Things I never told you. Oh, it's over. Oh, that was quick. When it goes by that fast, you know it's a well done song. But of course, this type of song I think about because my mom passed about four years ago. And I took care of her in her home for two years until she passed because I didn't want her dying in a nursing home. 
Yeah, I mean, I mentioned during the song, I had shared some things, just like Thanksgiving dinner or something. My sisters were there, my ex-wife was there, and, you know, family was there and stuff. So we were just, you know, having wine and whatnot, and I was just sharing a few of the things we did, thinking at that point in life it would have been funny. And my younger sister the next day was like, Donald, don't ever tell mom that kind of stuff. And you should have seen the look on her face. I thought she was laughing, and she kind of was, but it was only to cover up the fact that she was mortified, and I missed that part of it. So, But moms know. They know their kids and all that stuff. But I, I love the heart in this one. I like the way he sang it. Uh, the instrumentation was very unique. And if you had just heard the instrumentation, you wouldn't necessarily assign it to a country genre. But the way he sang it, the combination made it, all country and it was just you know that beautiful heart toward his own mother you know when you get older you realize what your parents went through when you're younger you think all adults are in confederacy against the youth and they all get along with each other the adults you know to keep you down keep you in line or keep their eye on you and all that and they are keeping their eye on you but for different reasons and then you find out that you learn more about what it was like raising uh, kids, you know, just trying to keep them alive, keep them from choking on stuff. Then when they can walk and then run, keep them from running in the road or riding their bike into traffic. And so, I mean, just all the things the kids do that could get them injured or killed. And, and then you want them back at the house with the stuff they started the day with. You know, they go off to school with the jacket and, and whatever they go to school with. You want them to come home with that stuff, preferably on time and uninjured. So life con is simple in some ways, but if there's love in the home, you see it on the kids. I ran a dance studio with my ex-wife for 20 years. She was a dancer. I was on the business customer relations side of it. And you could see the difference when the mother and father were both engaged in, in raising the kids and that they loved their kids. Even though it was difficult and expensive, you could tell when the kids were loved. And parents almost never feel like they've got a handle on it. Uh, on parenthood and it's uh, you know a challenging enterprise but when the the kids know if the parents are looking out for their best interest and you could just see there's a different comfort level the kids have when they're talking with adults right and there's and I could tell and it was obvious when there was you know some kind of ugliness in the home even though the parents would come in and smile generally and stuff but I could tell usually what was going on at home Sometimes the kids are just squirrely in their own right, and they've got bad ideas they picked up from their friends, and it had little to do with their parents. But you could tell when the kids were loved. You know, that's just one of these beautiful songs that Parker wrote, I'm guessing, for his mom. I'm not going to rate that one. You might, I was kind of torn on this one, but this is an ode to his own mother. I am guessing Parker wrote this, and it is... Uh, for his mom, and it's well-conceived song, Things I Never Told You. At first, when he started saying the things, I'm like, my gosh, is this more about a breakup? And then, you know, he wove it around to his mom. Very, very well-crafted. So, Jacob, there you go, my friend. Thank you for that, and everybody. Jacob Herrick's uh, Happy Mother's Day type song. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Mm -hmm.